tote is placed on the receiving conveyor by forklift. The forklift operator starts the receiving conveyor by remote control. The tote moves forward to a decision point where the RFID data is read and sent to the PLC and the QC operator's computer. The RFID data directs the tote from the distribution point to the storage rack transfer point. From the storage rack transfer point, the tote is sent to the elevator. When the elevator reaches the desired rack level, the tote is placed on the gravity roller section. The tote will continue on via gravity and stop at the end of the rack. Totes are stored in quantities of 11 per level. During the storage period, if the quality in any tote deteriorates, then through RFID communication with the QC operator's computer, the computer can redirect the tote. Alternatively, the tote can be sent from the storage rack transfer point to the center conveyor. Once more, the tote will continue to the end of this conveyor via gravity. Again, totes are accumulated up to a total of 11. When one of the five process lines calls for product, a tote can be taken from any one of the five storage lines or any one of the 30 storage racks. Here the tote is taken from the top level and delivered to a decision point, where the RFID data is read to send the tote to the desired process line. On the conveyor prior to the dumper, up to six totes can be accumulated. After dumping, the empty tote is delivered to the tote washing system via a conveyor. Now let's discuss the alternative routes. When the RFID data is read at the decision point, the tote may be sent to any of the five storage rack systems. In this case, sent to the center conveyor on storage rack system 2. As mentioned before, when a process line requires product, a tote can be taken from any one of six racks contained in any one of five storage systems. For this demonstration, we have selected a tote from level two of storage system one, where it will be delivered to process line two. <laughs> 